Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.2.1.7, Configuring VLANs. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials Version 6 Curriculum. Now in this lab, this is kind of the first time in uh, the Routing and Switching Essentials Curriculum that we configure VLANs, not the management interface where we do like interface VLAN 1 but the actual VLANs to segregate traffic. So we've got PC4 and PC1 in VLAN 10. We got PC20 and PC5 sorry PC2 and PC5 in VLAN 20 and PC6 and PC3 in VLAN 30. Now right now at this point only VLANs that are, are in devices that are in the same VLAN can talk to each other. The end device ports that are plugged into, so like FA011 here, FA018, and FA06, they should be in switch port mode access mode to carry only one specific VLAN, like 10 or 20 or 30. The ports between switch to switch should carry multiple VLANs because for you to get from uh, here to here, You've got to be able to carry more than VLAN in more than one VLAN in between the switches. So there you would do it in trunking mode. Okay. So like from G01 to G01, G02 to G02, those should be in trunking mode. So we're going to see how to configure all those as well as we got to have the VLANs entered in on each switch. So it says create and name the VLANs on S1. So we're going to create and name the VLANs on S1. We go into configuration mode. And they are case sensitive, so we're going to do VLAN 10. And then you'll do name faculty forward slash staff. Okay, VLAN 20, name students. VLAN 30, name guest, and no space in parentheses, it's default. Again, if you make a typo here, it won't grade it correctly. VLAN 40. Oh, I'm sorry, there is no VLAN 40. No VLAN 40. Sorry about that. VLAN 99, name, management, the and symbol, native. VLAN 150, name, voice, all capital. Okay, so we got them all created on S1. Now, how do I look at it? You do a show VLAN brief. And you'll see 10, 20, 30, 99, and 50, and their names. Now, right now, all the ports are by default always a part of the default VLAN 1 VLAN. We have not assigned them to any of these, but we will soon. Now we want to basically create the same things on S2 and S3. Now we're going to manu manually create them, but in the real world, there's this thing called VTP, Virtual Trunking Protocol, that you can actually share the VLANs from switch to switch without having to do this. But here we're going to manually create them. Okay. Now before I was exiting out of each VLAN before going to the next, you don't actually have to do that. So if I like do VLAN 10 name faculty forward slash staff. I can just go ahead and type in the next VLAN here and it'll take me to it. So VLAN 20, name students. VLAN 30, name guest default. VLAN 99, name management and native. VLAN 150, name voice. Okay. So you can just kind of do it like that without having to exit out. It'll take you to the right VLAN each time. Now we'll do the same thing on S3. VLAN 10, name faculty forward slash staff. VLAN 20, name students. VLAN 30, whoops. No VLAN 309. VLAN 30, name, guest, in parentheses, default, VLAN 99, name, management, and native, VLAN 150, name, voice. Okay, so we got all the names in there. 
And again, if you ever want to check, show VLAN brief. And you can see if you've named it correctly, um, if you've got them all in there, so on. Okay. Now we're going to start assigning stuff to ports. It says VLAN 10 should be FA011. And that happens to be the same on both Switch 2 and S3 and S2. So that's what we're going to kind of do here. So on S2, interface FA011. And remember how we do those switch port commands in Chapter 5? We're still doing them. Switch port mode access. Whoops. Can't spell. Switch port mode access. Oh my goodness, we just went to FA01. Sorry guys, my typing is not great today. Switch port mode access for FA011, then switch port access, VLAN, and then whatever you want there. This one happens to be 10. Okay, so again, you see it turn orange because it's negotiating to make sure that we, you know, want this only to be in VLAN 10. Okay. Then interface FA018, that's the one going to PC2. That should be in VLAN 20. So switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 20. Interface FA06 is down there at the bottom going to PC3. Switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 30. Okay, so you see them start to negotiate each time and then come back up. All right, now we got to go do the same thing on FA, or sorry, on S3 for FA011 for 10. Interface FA011, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. Interface FA018, again, that one is switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20. Interface FA06, that's connected to PC5 down there, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. All right, so once we got the VLANs for each of the uh, ports taken care of, 10, 20, 30 for FA011, FA018 and FA06 respectively for S2 and S3. Remember we've got this IP phone over here which is more like a real world situation where it will be connected from uh, the, the switch or the you know wall jack to the IP phone and then the IP phone um, has a out port to the PC. So what we want to do is we'll go into FA011 again and we're going to do the voice um, option. So switch port, then you see the voice, and then 150 was the sorry, VLAN 150. All right, is the um, voice VLAN. So FA011 is not only just carrying VLAN 10, but it's also carrying the voice VLAN. So remember, they run separately. The voice traffic is separated out separate than VLAN 10. Okay, now let's test this out. Again, you can do a show VLAN brief here and kind of see what it looks like. So you've got 10, 20, 30, 99, 150. That assigns it to FA04 there as the lab mentioned, but you still see 10, 20, and 30 are assigned to those ports and they're taken out of that top one. Same thing over here on S2. If we did a show VLAN brief, okay, you see how they're assigned there. Okay, so that means everything is working.